thank you for subscribing and supporting this channel. We stand firmly by Ningi, Bauchi Governor of Fort Sini suspension. <laughs> Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State has declared that the state government is behind Senator Abdul Ningi, the lawmaker who was, you know, handed the, a three month suspension by the Senate. We understand that uh, Ningi were actually uh, accused the Senate of uh, budget pardon and the presidency of budget pardon that the budget that was supposed to be around 25 uh, trillion naira has just suddenly grown to 28 trillion naira or 29 trillion naira and almost variance of 3.7 trillion. So the budget that National Assembly approved is different from the budget that the presidency is implementing. And another gov another uh, senator, uh, is it uh, Daringbe or whatever they call him, okay, has uh, Jaringbe also has uh, you know accused the Senate of sharing 500 uh, million naira each, 500 million naira each uh, from that 3.7 trillion uh, that is uh, that is now controversial. So with all of these, the Senate came to a radio session and agreed on three months suspension on Ningi. And Ningi has suspended and he said he's not regretting it. He has said the truth. But now, um, this, at the same vein, Ningi had to resign from uh, being the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum. So with all of this put together, I'm sure Ningi has gone back to his state, which is Bauchi State. Now the governor of the Bauchi State, which is Bala Mohammed, is saying that solidly behind uh, Ningi, because Ningi has said the truth to the best of their knowledge. So they are behind their brother. Hmm. So Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State has declared that the state government is behind Senator Abdul Ningi, the lawmaker who was handed a three month suspension after his comment on 3.7 trillion naira not being traceable in the 2024 budget. So Ningi, representing Bauchi Central Senatorial District at the upper chamber of the National Assembly, was suspended by the Senate on Tuesday. That was yesterday. So the Senator had subsequently resigned as a chairman of the Northern Gov Senators Forum. Then on the floor of the Senate Chairman, uh, Chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation, Senator Lamileko Adeola, APC Ogun West, had said the Red Chamber had inaugurated a template for the speedy consideration of passage of the 2024 budget, 2024 money bill, as he initiated the motion on breach of privilege by the Bauchi senator. Hmm. So Senator Adeola had uh, come under orders 9, 10, 41, and 51 to move a motion of privilege and issue of national importance against Ningi over his interview with the BBC House. So following Adeola's motion on the breach of privilege, a member of the Appropriation Committee in the Senate, Jimo Ibrahim, first moved the motion for Ningi's uh, suspension for 12 months over allegations of criminal misinformation and breach of peace in the National Assembly. But some of the senators moved for the amendment of the suspension for three months for the embattled federal lawmaker which the Senate ratified. Speaking during the Senate Executive Council meeting at the Government House, Bauchi, on Wednesday, Mohamed Bala, the governor of the state, said, Yesterday, I was very sad. The senior suspended one of her best from Bauchi for saying the truth, for standing up, you know, to be the beacon of the truth. Hmm. So Mohamed, who is also a chairman of PDP Governors Forum, said, Equally, I don't know what we will do, but we will discuss privately to see what we can do to support him because I support whatever he is doing and that is our best position, especially if what he is saying is the truth. Okay, so details will emerge later, but that is exactly what Governor Bala is saying, that they they don't know what to do yet to move forward after the suspension, but all they know that they are supporting Ningi, because Ningi is one of their best and their position is to support their own. Everybody is supporting his own. I think in this matter, everybody is also supporting Ningi because Ningi must have said the truth, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, so now Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State is supporting his own. 
Somebody says, stand by Ningi with all my 10 finger. That's what somebody is saying. Uh, everybody will support Ningi because we know that Senate have been padding budget over the years. We know that nobody has been able to speak out because they are all benefiting. But for this man to speak out, I'm sure there must be, he must have his own reason. So I stand by Ningi. The revelation calls for discreet investigation. The Senate should have, you know, formed a committee of inquiry or an independent panel of inquiry to look into the merit or demerit of the Hino's allegation, not suspension. Yes, now, because they know that it is, it is true. They, they, what are they going to investigate? It will, the investigation will just expose them the more, so they won't do that. They call it a privilege information that he got, that he went and leaked, and that is the ground that punishing him, not that what he said is a lie. What he said is the truth. As I would say, yes, so because they want to silence him, yes. They asked him to bring proof. He did not. What proof are you asking for? Uh, if he had insisted, but he denied his statement. Did he actually deny his own statement? Because if he denied his statement, then he shouldn't have gone. The fools went to tell their master how they performed. You will all give account of your stewardship to God. Exactly. When they know what they have done, Akpabio has never been a good leader. Okay? Anywhere he goes or lead, there is always one allegation or the other. Because the guy likes looting and stealing. <laughs> Somebody don't finish up there. Uh, another person is saying, I thought Akpabio has case in the court for corruption. Or... He has been forgiven. A peace administration is funny. He still has a case with, uh, uh, what did they call it, EFCC. Okay. Bala has FCT CCTV case in court. Okay. <laughs> uh, the man is right. At least the, the, most re the truth must be revealed. Hmm. One thief do expose other thieves. There is confusion inside thieves' kingdom. <laughs> I probably will, I never get your time. That's what somebody is saying here. Point of correction, how are full and the governors, not Nigerian governors? And we, the Nigerian people, stand with Tinubu, who told you a Nigerian person? And some say in the whole world, Nigerian politicians are the worst, and that is true. That is the truth. That is the truth. So the way it is now, <laughs> Nigeria, uh, uh, Ningi is going to serve his three months uh, suspension, but now that the Bala Mohammed, the governor of Baoji State, and also the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, is supporting Ningi, I don't know how that is going to pan out. But Nigerians know that what Ningi said is true. We, even if he comes back later to deny it, probably because of the threat they are putting on him, he will try to deny. But he has said the truth. He has said the truth. What he said is nothing but the truth. And that is why the Senate is angry because he revealed a privileged information. And either they're calling it a privileged uh, uh, something, I give it punishing him on revealing a privileged information. Ha, Nigeria. Quite unfortunate. So now he's gone back to his own state, and his state uh, governor is also supporting him. This is a fight now. It's going to gradually become a fight between PDP and APC. So the PDP governors need to tighten their belt because this looks like it's just the beginning. Of the fight. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.